peace and love this is love from hanging out with love and today i just wanted to give you all some updates because i haven't been up here for about a week it could be a little over a week but i definitely have been doing a lot getting a lot done working on some new projects I just finished up my second collaboration, which was in partnership with Discovering Feminine, and that is an Instagram page. Her name is Jazz. She is the owner and founder of that brand, and I absolutely adore her. We just did our event, and I just had a really good time doing it. Let me look at the title. The journey to self-mastery, there is no final destination, okay? So that was the title of our event. It was about an hour long. We did it on IG Live, just like my last event, Self-Love and Femininity. And I just felt like it was the perfect collaboration because both of us come from psych backgrounds and so that's where her undergrad studies were. That's where my undergraduate studies were. And we talked about Abraham Maslow and the hierarchy of needs and just self-actualization and how those tie into femininity and just being your best self as a woman. So it was really interesting. If you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure you click that link in my description box and go follow me. Also, um, I just started like a new diet plan, so I got rid of a lot of things, you guys. So I'm only eating fish. Um, I eliminated dairy completely. I wasn't like a milk person. I would typically buy almond milk, but I'm also not eating any cheese, which is very different for me because I love nachos. I like tacos, like anything like Mexican food, and they use a ton of queso in their dishes. So <sighs> this is going to be a challenge. Today is actually day two of that, so <laughs> fairly new, but I'm embarking on this new journey to just improve my health overall, and I have a weight loss goal that I want to reach. So I know that eliminating dairy and eliminating chicken will definitely assist me with that. I am still drinking my water. Now, I won't say that I'm following these times, but I definitely get to the bottom of this before the end of the night. So that's really all that matters as long as I'm getting it in. I think this just serves as a guide, but I drink water when I need to drink the water and I don't overindulge to the point that I'm like running to the bathroom every 15 minutes. Um, do I still have to use the ladies room a lot? Absolutely. But I don't want to be like, oh, look at it, oh, look at it, you know, just drinking water for no reason. Like, it's not necessary, you know? What else is there? Um, oh, I just started a food blog. So I put that on queencarecosmetics.com, which is also in the description box. It is the very last link. And I put it there because there I really talk a lot about self-care overall based on your skin, based on mental health, and based on what you put into your body. So that includes drinking water, eating whole foods, and things of that nature. So I felt like why not just incorporate a food blog so I can talk about my weight loss journey, things that I've been eating, and also give you ladies some good recipes that you can use. Um, so if you're on my email list, you already received the notification about that, you know where to find it. If not, definitely click that last link in my description box, queencarecosmetics.com, press login. You do have to be a member in order to access that blog, but the membership is free. Put in your email address, do a password and you're good to go, all right? Also, please share your feedback. If there's anything on that food blog that you're like, uh, I wanna know more about this or hmm, I don't know if that's going to work for me and this is why, definitely share your feedback. It will be beneficial to me. And um, if I can't find the answer to your question or if I don't have the answer rather, I will point you in the right direction, okay? So just know that. What else is there? Um, 
I've been working on a new business. So I'm actually, like I started a new side hustle this summer. And so I'm growing in that. I hope to have my licensure in that business by October the 30th. So um, I had been studying for the test. I took it the first time and I did not pass, which was crazy to me, but I'm taking it again October 30th. So please send prayers, well wishes my way because I definitely want to get that life insurance license. Um, I'm also starting my debt-free journey. So I know there's this huge wave with millennials like, oh, we want to be debt-free and like, I have always been about having good credit. So for me, as long as my credit is good, I don't care about anything else. Like I can take out another credit card, go shopping, do whatever I want. But like now I just feel like I'm getting older, you know, and I want to be a good steward over the things that I'm blessed with. And having good credit is a blessing, but I just want to eliminate debt. Um, I've started listening again to Dave Ramsey. And I mentioned to you ladies before that I did do Dave Ramsey's class. It's called Financial Peace University. I think it is a wonderful investment. But um, yeah, I did Financial Peace University. And so with the baby step one, you have to save like $1,000 in an emergency fund. I... Um, did like double that a little over and so as i mentioned to you ladies before that helped me tremendously at the onset of all this craziness with school um and i was able to pay for everything like i literally have no worries like i'm not even kidding speaking of school yes i did get reinstated into the social work program if i did not tell you already which i think i did but i did just register for classes last week so that was major also, I'm reading a new book. So if you've ever heard of Queen Afua, the woman heal thyself book, I started reading that. I also started reading a book for the second time. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. And you know, I, I don't know, like this book, it didn't really resonate with me this time. Like I was reading it and some of the things I saw, it was like, wow. You know, last time I read it, it felt different to me. And that's the beauty about going back and reading literature because it's like you're reading it from a different lens now. Like I'm a completely different person from who I was when I read that book. And so last time I read it, I felt like it actually did help. Like it had some good anecdotal um, type of things in there that I felt like I could apply to my life. And now it's like, this doesn't even apply, you know, like I'm not, I'm just not in that space anymore. Like I feel like I'm past that, you know? So I encourage you to read books. Like reading is fundamental. I've also been listening to eBooks. I'm listening to another eBook right now, um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And I've listened to it several times, but that's something that I feel like you can just keep on repeat. Like just keep listening to that. Like why not? Think and grow rich. Um, definitely the principles do apply. And I BS you not, everything that I have in life right now, I thought about before. I've always wanted a Jeep. I have that dream car. I've always wanted my own apartment, you know, because I've always had roommates and I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait till I get my first apartment. But I didn't just want any apartment. I didn't want a one bedroom one bathroom apartment. I didn't want people to have to use my ladies room when they came over. Like, no, I want you to have your own space to go to. And I want my stuff upstairs and like, just keep it totally separate, you know? Um, and I also didn't want people to have to like go up my stairs to like use the restroom. So now like you walk in, I have a huge space. Like my friends are like, oh my God, like, is this a condo? I'm like, no, it's an apartment, but it's huge, super affordable, which is really strange. But like, this is a blessing. Like anything that you want, you can have it. I promise you, I promise you. The next thing that I'm manifesting is this YouTube channel to grow. So if you have friends or family members that you feel like can use the content that I have, share it with them. Like, why not? You know, um, it'll help me. It'll help them. You'll feel good about yourself because you put someone on to something wonderful. 
let me go see if this smoothie thing is ready. But yeah, that's the next thing because I really do love the idea of being a YouTube influencer and I just, I know I can do it, you know? <laughs> So a quick story about this, I um, took out my frozen berries, I let it thaw out just a little bit, then I left it inside of the um, blender so it could thaw out a little bit more and it still was not blending all of the way because it was frozen and I'm like, bro, like how long do I have to leave it out? I didn't want to unthaw the whole pack of fruit and then have to put it back in the freezer you know like i just i just didn't want to have to go through that but at any rate it's ready and i'm going to put some water in my blender so that berries won't stick to it because if you make smoothies you know that berries in your blender is not a good look it's really annoying to clean if you allow it to sit there All right, so this should be good. And I'll just spray a little bit of bleach on the inside. Because it just makes me feel better. Ah, oh, turds, hold on. I made a mess. Okay. All righty. Cool. So let me toss this napkin really fast. So yeah, that's what's going on in my life if you need the deets, cause I know y'all like the deets. Um, also my teeth, <sighs> my teeth just look so gorgeous. Um, I love them. I have been drinking, as I mentioned, a ton of water. My skin looks great. I'm just, I'm doing good. I'm not going to lie. The things in my life that I'm doing are very challenging. I will say that, but I've never had an easy life and I haven't had an easy life because I chose, I didn't choose the path of least resistance. Like I chose a path where I'm going to run into some things because I have aspirations, you know, and that's not to say that people who don't have dreams, don't go through anything. But like some people just feel comfortable in certain spaces. And I feel like if I stay where I am, I'm still going to have issues because that's just how life works. So why not choose to have more, to do more? Um, I am still actively dating. And I'm not gonna lie, this online dating thing is like very tedious. I think it's a little bit more tedious than actually meeting people in person, to be completely honest, only because you have to read through their profiles. Then you're like, oh my gosh, you know, what if I actually met the person face to face? Like, would I have known all of this stuff? Probably not. You know, it's like, I don't know, it's just making me think way too much. <laughs> you know, like, well, should I eliminate a person because of this? Are these my standards or am I just being like, oh, I just don't want that, you know? I don't know. It's really weird. But anyway, it's teaching me a lot about myself. Also, um, I did take a new course. So I love like professional development type of activities. And I don't know if you've ever heard of her, but her name is April Mason. And she's actually like a femininity coach as well as a dating coach. And I love her. I literally feel like she's my aunt in a past life. Mm. This is so good. It's literally mixed berries and almond milk. But yeah, so she's gorgeous. And she's an older woman, very wise. Um, she does have children. She is married. And I took a class called Black Woman Reset. And basically it was talking about this idea of black women like overworking themselves and not having just time to 
process things and time to rest and days of doing absolutely nothing and having spa days. And so it was a really beautiful um, presentation. I liked it a lot. It lasted a few hours and I loved every minute of it. And then she made me like right now, I want to go get a massage because I don't know if you guys know, but like when you work out, you have to stretch like, and you know, I work out pretty frequently. And so at this point, I just want to go get a massage because April's always going to get massages and now I miss them. I used to get a massage like at least once a month, like minimum once a month, sometimes twice a month. But I would go to a place called Raleigh Foot Spa and then the other one is called Raleigh Massage and Wellness. And of course, that's when I lived in the triangle. And now I'm like, I just need to go back and get a massage. I really haven't been, you know, in a while and I just need that in my life. But that's what's going on with me. Definitely practicing self-care, loving myself better, treating my body better. And I feel like it's necessary because the fundamental things like the outside things, you know, beauty and my nails and, you know, just keeping myself up. I have that down packed. Like, I, I just have no issues with that. I have no issues with the way I dress. I have no issues keeping my hair done. I have no issues with interacting with others. However, I can do better. I can eat cleaner. You know, I can make sure that I'm drinking water, like a full gallon every day and not, oh, maybe one or two bottles here or three or four bottles there and then going to the gym and being dehydrated and nearly passing out. It's not cool. Um, I can do more meal prep and being more intentional about the meal prep because I will cook all week. I'll cook, I will do meal prep and then still go out to eat. <laughs> fine dining and it's just like love you gotta chill daddy chill <laughs> anyway that's what's going on with me i hope you ladies are doing well i'm happy i'm looking forward to these new moves i'm making i know this whole diet thing is it's not going to be easy but it's a lifestyle change and I'm the type of person, I have to just stop things cold turkey. Like, I'm not a person who can be like, oh, gradually, I'll take this out of my diet and take that out of my diet. Like, no, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And I'm head first with it, you know, jumping out the window with this one. So that's where I am. And I will keep you updated for sure. Again, if you're interested in that food blog, definitely click that link. Also, if you need to set an appointment with me, that information will be in the description box as well. I think the best way is just to go to IG, DM me. I can send you the deets, you know, whatever. Um, but I did take off my booking link from the website just because my schedule is real right now. And I just don't want people having access to my calendar, just being perfectly honest. I would rather set the appointments myself to where I know what's happening, what's going to come next instead of receiving an email and then something popping up because that's just not where I want to be in life. What else is there? Still have that new flavor of body butter out, pumpkin spice latte. That stuff smells good, okay? Whew. Can't get enough of it. So you need to get some so you can't get enough of it and your man can't get enough of it because I'm telling you, when you use Queen Care Cosmetics products like I BS you not, your man will be all over you. And this is not an exaggeration. It's the soft skin for me. It's the smell for me, okay? But yeah, I think that's about it. I'm gonna go. And um, again, if you need me, you know how to reach me. Peace and love. If you have a topic you would like for me to discuss, let me know, I'll consider it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.